So this week, um, another uh, dealer has gone, unfortunately. I, I think they went, we looked last week at um, Broad Lane, had gone, disappeared, um, gone into administration. And there's another dealer that I hadn't noticed and we're going to, we're going to hopefully have a look and see whether we can buy some of their stock and also what happens to their stock. Now that's not going to come up in this video, but it's something um, over the next day or two or a couple of days or maybe even Friday's video that is going to come up and we're going to show you what happened to that stock, where that stock went and how we're potentially trying to buy some of that stock. So that uh, is going to be coming up in the videos very shortly. One that's just come in, this isn't one of the, the vans from Blazers. Um, I like this van, I really like privately. this van. You walk um, in, it's really nice and light and airy. It's a lovely van, isn't it? Yeah. And I've bought this, and on Friday's video, we did a separate video on this, and I nearly got stuck and lost and run out of fuel and all sorts of things. Uh, oh, coming this was back. that one, was so it? This was this one, yes. Yeah, so, oh, okay. uh, some dealers um, are showing a little bit of fear about Luna, but it's a caravan at the end of the day. It's still a caravan. It's still um, a really nice, usable van. Um, Can you still get bits for Yeah, them? so most of the windows, um, parts like that, front panels, not quite as easy. Skylights, this is all like Dometic parts. Um, I'm sure that yeah, Dometic. Oh, right, um, so that's not a lunar skylight. Dometic. Um, the windows were actually done by um, polyplast or plast form. So all your bits and bobs, cupboards can be a little bit oh, tricky. I guess so. So things like that are going to be a nightmare. Um, but normal sort of usable bits, even wall boards, etc., you can still get so. And, and I'd said on Friday, you look at the specification on this, everything that it's got, for it's a blinking cheap van. Um, and it's mega. After a good, cheaper van sort of thing, but still wants everything in there, these are great buys at the minute. So don't let that... Uh, obviously, it was three years ago now that Luna went bust. It never affected prices over... Uh, Covid and there's no real reason actually that it should affect it now. Everything is falling in price So that's just how it how it is basically and this one's like so well looked after as well It's really yes. really nice. That's the weight that on it. The key is uh, the service history on anything like this the service history make sure it's been serviced well looked after um, so we are 14.95 maximum and 13.40 as it stands in now 14.995 2018 24 24 feet over all it's the so, moon edition yes i didn't so that see that big, all those roof lights in the in the front um, so again, we'd said on Friday's video about us moving stock and a big reason for that is obviously these caravans that are going to come through from Blazers caravans, there's, there's a lot hitting the market all of a sudden. So it makes sense for us to now to actually start anything that we've had a little bit longer, we need it gone um, because it, it is just going to have a little bit of an effect and probably over the next six months now um, there's going to be some really good deals to be had so it sort of it makes sense for us to now any older stock it's got to go it's got to it's got to go it's got to go it's got to go it's got to move um sound like jason but in the book if you are now <laughs> looking obviously you've already got a caravan and you're not looking to swap we've got some tips coming up so something that you need to be checking in your van before you go away is smoke alarms and carbon monoxides now normally you just literally press your button on the carbon monoxide and the smoke alarm and you'll get the beat make sure that the batteries are in there make sure that the batteries are good and um, they're really really important to have working before you go away on your main summer holidays and that is other tips that are going to come up now over this video as well and um, so lovely lovely van 13995 this one 2017 so again value for money uh, very very good not quite the spec of the lunar but again really really good value for money don't um, go too far away when you're talking 
Mic on. So again, really good value for money, and only thirteen hundred maximum, a uh, thousand and ninety nine as it stands there now, and twenty just over twenty one feet overall from very front to very very back. One, this hasn't come in very long to be fair. This hasn't this hasn't been in very long, and we've discounted it. Um, and something else that we're going to look at is how can we afford to do sales and offers and discounts but realistically sometimes we can't um sometimes we've just got to sort of go you know what we're better off getting the money back in go and buy new stock and this is what we're sort of gearing up at the moment for is why we're trying to buy some of the blazer stock is that um anything that we've had sort of over four five six months now we need to get that gone and we'll go and buy new stock at today's money cheaper and then we can sell it cheaper so sometimes we're actually losing money on the stock just to sell it just to get it gone um and that just is how we have to do it unfortunately it doesn't happen very often um uh, but sometimes we have to do, bite the bullet and sort of go now's the time to bite that bullet and do that um, rather than coming into the winter and prices potentially coming down a little bit more um, anything like this now a great family caravan family caravans six births have been slower over the last 12 months really so um, there's some really good deals to be had now and again I think over this last weekend two out of the five or six vans that have been sold have all been family vans. Have they? So uh, quite interesting. you've got the same layout as this in that yes. the one that's just come in and so, you? so is yeah. that why you've discounted this one because uh, you've got yeah, the same again, layout? Yeah just, again just got the same layout um, and again just because we've had family vans not selling quite as much as some of the other uh, sort of fixed beds etc so this um, has got the better control screen in as yes well, uh, 2021 uh 2000 kilos that seems a lot that's heavy uh, it is isn't it so that's been upgraded right. so mro is 1480 and the mtplm maximum weight that you can take this up to is 2000 kilos um so can it you might downgrade be, that? i was going to say it might be that this for some people needs to be downgraded um, back to about 15, 16, I think they were around about 1600 kilos originally, so it's had a hell of an upgrade. Yeah, I wonder what the they weight. were pushing inside that, something a heavy, lot, isn't that? A lot. Um, another one that's just come into a nice little Coachman Pastiche 520. Uh, now, we're set to have a little bit warmer weather over this next couple of weeks. So again, if you're looking to travel, uh, if you're going away on your holidays, tyre pressures is something else that we need to check before we go on our journey. So um, making sure on the, like on the VIN plate there, making sure that your uh, tyre pressure is correct for the caravan. Um, we want to make sure that we're not overly inflated, we're not under inflated um, and then that's just going to potentially stop us having any blowouts or issues with our tyres as we're travelling along. Um, so a really another important one getting ready for our holidays now is that tyre pressure. Uh, 15495 2016 it's the pastiche 520 and again this layout is becoming more and more popular again uh, with families we're finding that we're getting a lot of people wanting the side donuts people coming out of the tent in you know, obviously the last summer was absolutely terrible first half of this year the weather's been shocking so we're getting a lot of people coming from the tent inside um, and this is a really good layout because you've got your bump pad on the side here these will hold on the metal frames about 11 stone so still a good size child the bottom bed no weight limits and obviously that makes into a front bed at the front there as well and you get that nice big washer in which is why i think a lot of campers where they've never had a washroom it's like oh yes this is what we want we want a proper washroom at the back now um proper usable facilities etc so a really really good layout um another one that's just come in so we've got the island bed at the back again probably still the most popular layout that is out there on the market full full service history so this is just this is the one that came in part exchange against the Luso. Uh, uh is it so this one yeah again it's a nice van. because it was sighted they'd just literally gone for a bigger van sort of make it more like a static 
So it's a 2018, it's 1476 kilograms maximum, 24 feet overall, and it's 17 and a half. Um, so again, new Gosh, stock. That's good price, isn't New it, money, really? yeah. So um, that is now sort of the key, is just getting the, the newer stock through at the right money, selling it at the right prices, and the market then continues sort of thing. So um, again, the one issue has been the part X's. And again, I think you've just got to look at it. If you've got a part X change, well, actually what I'm buying is now a hell of a lot cheaper. What I'm getting for mine, yeah, maybe not, but the actual cost change in theory should be about what it was uh, previously, because yours is less, the one that you're buying is less. So it should all add up. So again, a really, really nice van. Um, Looking at the uh, the stock, so with Blazers Caravans, and I'm putting two and two together here, um, another family van sold, uh, another family van sold. That was actually a nice little two-berth. Oh, that two's gone. Uh, yeah, that was a nice van, wasn't it? Gone. So uh, you can tell it's just changing round. Uh, quite a lot of Baileys um, Blazers were, were a, a Bailey dealer, so we've got quite a lot of the, the Bailey Caravans. Um, that we're looking at and potentially um, looking to purchase. So you might see some of the Baileys turn up here. Um, we've got a couple of Baileys already over here. So we've got a nice Bailey Unicorn Valencia, uh, a nice Bailey Unicorn Barcelona. So it might be that we get another couple of these turn up and hopefully we're going to look at some of the vans tomorrow, aren't we, I think. Uh, and we can confirm. Mm -hmm. uh, we can con confirm then if the caravans that we're looking at are definitely the Blazers caravans. And again, next week's video will sort of show that and see if we manage to actually buy anything. Um, so, few more tips um, for actually using your caravan, getting everything ready. Uh, mains leads, so when you plug into to site, um, you want to make sure that you don't leave your mains lead coiled up at all. Um, it might be that we've got different things running on and if you've got your cable still coiled up and you're drawing quite a lot of power from the caravan, it's going to heat up that mains lead and potentially cause a fire. So make sure once you've got your mains cable plugged in, you've uncoiled it, unraveled it, even if you have to run it up and down a couple of times. Um, don't really be tempted to try and run it underneath the caravan, probably just at the side um, and as long as it's not coiled up, Again, that's perfect. Nice big fridge freezer. Um, so you've got a big separate shower, uh, big separate fridge and freezer. And then at the back, we've got our nice big separate shower and toilet over there too then. Uh, so we've got a great layout. We mentioned about the Coachman Luso going onto site and being sighted. So this is something a group a great, great van to sort of put onto site and leave it there, 17,995, 2016, 17, 23, maximum 15, 59 kilograms as it stands here now. So, uh, still a towable van too. I always feel they're quite spacious in this central area in these babies. Yeah, there seems sort of, to be quite a lot of room, doesn't there? I think through the day you've still got a really good area, haven't you? Yeah. And then overnight you've got your bed and obviously then your washroom at the back. So. Um, yeah, makes into a really good usable space and again these are really long so, so that you can use these as single beds if you've got anybody else coming with you you can actually use these as single. It does make up into a double bed as well um, which pulls out from at the front here so that pulls out and then that would make into a double bed as well so um, pretty much wraps up this week's video um, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, sort of going through a couple of tips there as well getting ready for you to actually use your van um, and then it's going to be interesting to see whether we can buy any of these caravans and are they actually the blazers stock from that dealer that went bust as well so we will find out uh, thanks for watching i'm mark at caravan place <laughs>